So, magandang hapon sa ating lahat na mga tao dyan. So, today, we're going to watch a video and this video is a financial education video in which this video will teach us on how to build our wealth step by step. So, dito natin malalaman sa mga video na ito kung paano natin mapapalago yung pera natin, yung savings natin sa pamamagitan ng pag-invest. And in this video, this video is credited to the Call Financial Group in the Philippines. So, Call Financial Group in the Philippines is one of the brokerage here in the Philippines that where you can uh, open an account for only 1K, then you, you will be able now to trade to their platform, use their platform to buy stocks that are listed here in the Philippine Stock Exchange. So ito, titingnan natin yung video niya. Tuturuan nila tayo dito kung paano natin mapapalago yung pera natin at tuturuan din tayo kung paano ang pag invest sa gamit ang ating pera. So, tingnan natin dito sa video niya. So, kung bago pa lang kayo guys sa channel ko, so, ang channel ko, it is on educa educating people. Na gumagawa ko ng video para ma-educate natin yung ibang tao. So, kung bago lang kayo, ang channel ko ay DongYT TV. So, you can subscribe to my channel. At makikita dito may mga video all about education. So, yun guys, kung bago pa lang kayo, please subscribe and share my videos kung may matutunan kayo. So, proceed na tayo doon sa video na titingnan natin. So, ito yung video na yun guys. So, I, so I've been watching this video because I know that I Good can learn something. Good morning everyone and welcome to COL's basic investing webinar titled Getting Started with Your Investing Dream. I am Lorraine Reyes and I will be your host for today's session. Again, thank you very much because you took the time na maka-join kayo dito sa aming learning session for today. We will be having four questions to help us create a background for our discussions. So, let's run the first poll question. Okay, the first question is, what do you want to invest in? Number one, I want to buy stocks. Number two, I want to buy mutual funds or equity index funds. Number three, I want to buy both. Or number four, I don't know what to invest in. All you have to do is to select one answer and then click the submit button. Okay, so I guess most of our participants have already um, placed their um, answers. So let's share the results with everyone. Okay, so it is good to note that 43% of you would like to buy both stocks and mutual funds. Well, the remaining 30% do not know yet, um, 36% do not know yet what to invest in. So hopefully, right after po this presentation, mas ma malaman nyo na kung ano yung best investment para sa inyo. Thank you very much for participating. Now I know that you are excited at huwag na natin patagalin pa. Let us introduce our resource speaker for today. So our resource speaker is a certified securities, securities representative and a certified investment solicitor. She has been with COL for nine years under the sales team and currently, she is the manager of the Investor Center in Matad. Let us all welcome Ms. Mai Lubato. Hello, good morning. Thank you so much, Lorraine. Thank you, everyone, for waking up early today. Yung mga iba baka hindi pa naliligo, pero okay lang yan kasi since you invested your time this morning, it's actually your way or your the first step for you to become rich. And my name is Mai, and I will join you on this road trip as you get started in your with your investing journey. So let me introduce CUL. CUL Financial is the largest, the leading and the largest, uh, the fastest growing online stock brokerage in the Philippines. We are 20 years, therefore adulting na kami. That's why dahil sa 20 years na yun, we're able to uh, build 300, more than 380,000 clients and we are managing 64 billion pesos in customer assets, making us number one in this industry. One plus point trend with COL is that we are the first 
in the only online stock brokerage listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange. So therefore, you can also buy and invest in COL. And this is a perfect time. Why? Because in, uh, in our COL online platform, you can also buy stocks and mutual funds together. O, diba? Hindi mo na kailangan hiwala-hiwalayin. Isang platform na lang, you're able to buy both stocks and mutual funds, making it us a one-stop shop for your investing needs. You are here and you are actually attending the seminar for specific reasons. Pero I know, meron lang tayong one main reason bakit gusto natin ang patutunan to lakas. Kasi gusto natin dumaman. Tama ba? And our chairman and founder believes that every Filipino deserves to be rich. In short, sana all. Diba? At sana all talaga ay mag-invest na today para lahat kayo yumaman na. Pero ano ba ibig sabihin ng pagiging mayaman or ng pagiging rich? We can actually use the term financially secured kasi parang pag financially secured ka na, ibig sabihin you're not living from paycheck to paycheck and you are actually able to buy all your needs and all your wants without worrying na maubos yung pera mo. Tama ba? Okay. And let me share with you three types of people in terms of my na- uh, managing their finances. Okay, may tanong ako sa inyo ha. Okay. First, uh, first type of person is the spender. Ang tanong, ang uh, itong spender na to actually sige, explain ko muna. Spender na to, ito yung kakatapos lang ng 99. Nabangan na niya yung 1010 kasi meron siyang na-instant hindi ko nabili doon. Bibilin ko sa 1010 pag nakalimutan mo na naman sa 1111 1212 tuloy-tuloy lang at wala pa yung sweldo ubus mo. Ito po yung spender. Ayan. At ito yung swipe lang swipe sa credit card na hindi mo na alam kung magkano yung babayaran mo. Kasi wala na, hindi na natin nakikita dahil na-enjoy mo na lang yung mga perks na yon Pero hindi mo pa nakikita na malaki na ang bill mo. Sa so, tingin mo ba, ang tanong, this spender, will this spender become financially secure? Unlikely. This second type of person is what we call the saver. Saver naman, siya yung maliling mag-ipon, magtabi ng pera, pero tinabi lang niya. Usually, pag saver ka, ang tinatabi mo yan, either sa savings, tapos, eventually, pag may nakaipon ka na, yun na yung magagamit mo uh, in terms of emergency or for your retirement. Sa so, tingin mo ba ang tanong, itong saver na to will become financially secure? Possible. Diba? Depende sa disiplina niya. And this third type of person is what we call the investor. Ito investor habang nag-online business or habang nagtatrabaho or work from home or kung saan man siya um, nagtatrabaho, this investor sets aside money and invests it to make that money work for her or for him. So kumbaga, habang nag-earn siya na active income, meron siyang passive income, nilalagay niya, ini-invest niya yung pair niya. Sa so, tingin niyo ba, this person, this investor will become financially secure. Most likely, most probably, diba? And today, we'll also teach you on how you can actually achieve financial security. So how do we start um, doing that one? Three steps to financial security. First, save. Second, invest. Third, reinvest. Okay, ito. Um, bago natin simulan to lahat, kung save, invest, reinvest, I'll make it very, very simple for you. Sa mga plantito at plantita dyan, sa mga plant nanay at plant tatay, sa mga planti at mga aso nyo plantuta, <laughs> imagine nyo, kumuha ka at bumili ka ng halaman. In display mo, Halaman lang siya. That's number one. You save it. You save the plant. And then eventually, it will come to a point, mamatay din siya. Mauhusan ka din. Diba? Second, ang invest sa isang plant, na, eh, first time ko na marinig to, or hindi ko, hindi ko talaga siya ginagamit na term, pero ang invest, you get a cutting from that plant. What you do, you propagate. Kung ikaw ay plantita, alam mo ito. Propagate. Propagate, you make, uh, you um, di ba kailangan magka-roots muna for you to be able to plant it? You propagate that plant. Once it builds the roots, you plant it, you invest it so that it can create another plant. That's invest. Third, reinvest. Kasi yung invest, isang best mo lang ginawa, nagkakuha ka lang isang cutting. Ang reinvest, you get more cuttings, you propagate, 
you plant it, and then you become a jungle in your house. Ganon. <laughs> so, ganon ibig sabihin ng seed, invest, and reinvest. So, I'll discuss it, uh, I'll discuss each one for us to be able to understand. Ayan, para mas maintindihan natin kung ba itong save, invest, reinvest. At makapagsimula na tayo at ma-achieve na natin ang financial security. Okay. First, we have to save. The best, the first and best way to actually becoming rich is to um, actually start saving. Diba? Alam niyo ba mga Pilipino, medyo nahihirapan dyan. Bakit? Kasi, ba't mo isipin na savings ay dami natin bayarin, di ba? Pag adulting ka na, dami mong bills to pay. But why do we have to, to, to save? Because we have to pay ourselves first. We have to reward ourselves. Bakit? Kasi ikaw ang gumising dyan, ikaw ang nagtrabaho sa sweldo mo, ikaw ang nagbenta ng online, ng uh, sales mo, ng mga benta mo dun sa tindahan mo. So therefore, you have to give it back to yourself. Why? Because you worked hard for it. But, the usual formula that we actually use, guilty din ako dyan, no una, but once we get our income, profits, or whatever, syempre, babawasan mo yung expense kasi bills, kuryente, tubig, grocery, at kung ikaw ay nanay, ang dami mo ang i-spend, di ba? Marami ka papapagsuweldohin kung meron kang mga kasama sa bahay, and then the rest, kung ano matira, yun ang savings. Pero ang tanong, no, 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 may natitira ba sa ating sweldo? Actually, wala. Nga nga, di ba? Kasi ubus na ubus. Actually, kulang pa. Di ba? Tama ba? Tama? Sana naiinig ko kayo ngayon. Pero for sure, you agree with me. Pero if you really want to start that discipline, once you get your income, you actually deduct your savings and then the rest, yung expenses. So, for us to be able to achieve this, ba natin gawin, buhasin natin yung expenses para umabot tayo dun sa puntong kaya na natin magtabi ng savings at kung natira for expenses, sakto na or kaya na natin uh, gamitin for our daily needs. And in terms of expenses, we also have to understand that we have to categorize our expenses to essentials and non-essentials, di ba? Para maintindihan natin, baka naman non-essentials lang yung ibang expenses natin. Baka naman pwede pa tayo magpikit, hindi lang natin nakikita. But the best formula that you can actually use is that once you get your income, you deduct your savings and you deduct your investments. So yung savings actually para emergency fund mo, yung investments, yun yung i-invest mo para mas lumago yung pera mo. Mas lumaki siya na hindi mo naramdaman. Diba? Katabi mo lang. And then the rest, expenses. I know this is still hard for us. Lalo na ngayon, it's pandemic. And this pandemic, you know what? I realized the value of emergency fund. Diba? Kailangan meron tayong emergency fund. So kung yun pa lang, medyo nahihapan tayo. We, what we can actually do is transition from one to the other and then to the last one. So one step at a time, one day at a time, one expense at a time. Diba? That's the first one, save. Second one, why invest? Diba? Bakit ka ba tayo mag invest One big reason why we need to invest is for us to be able to beat inflation. Ano ba itong inflation? Ang inflation, ang pagtaas ng presyo ng mga pilihin. O diba? Kaya inflation, lumaki. Diba? Hindi naman natin naramdaman na bumaba ang presyo. Diba? So lahat naman nagmamahalan na. Kayo na lang ni X ang hindi. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> Actually, may bagong definition ng inflation ngayon. Galing sa friend ko to. Ang, ang inflation daw ay ang paglaki ng iyong timbang. Dahil sa madalas na pagkain ngayong quarantine. O, pwede rin yun, di ba? Pwede rin yung inflation, di ba? But why are we talking about inflation? Because in this example, in 1997, I can remember grade 7 ako nito. The one piece chicken joy was actually worth 34 pesos. Currently today, in 2020, it's actually 84 pesos na. Oh my gosh, yung 50 pesos na nanggaling yun, di ba? Malamang nagmahal lahat, logistics, materials. And guess what? When we reach 2040, the one piece chicken joy will be actually worth 184 pesos. 184 pesos na yan ay isang buong manok na yan. Lechon manok. Kung actually, lalabas ka, buong lechon manok na yan. Pero in 2040, it's just a piece of chicken joy. Imagine, in this example, chicken joy pa lang to. Paano kaya ibang bilhin? 
for sure would like to make our money grow more so that we'll be able to uh, make our kubaka we'll be able to survive kasi kung lahat nagmamahala na dapat yung pera natin or yung income natin lumalaki din so kumbaga kung may inflation dapat yung sweldo natin or yung kita natin dapat sinasabayan or mas hihigitan pa that's why it's very important that we invest third reinvest o oh, bago to kasi may invest na pwede namang kalimutan mo na lang itong reinvest maganda to ah kasi when you reinvest you actually maximize the power of compounding as you can see this gray line if you have 50,000 now you invest that 50,000 into an investment that will earn 6% per annum Because every time nagkaka-interest siya you withdraw it even wala yung capital na 50,000 in 30 years your 50,000 plus all the interest that you withdrew i-add mo yung lahat your 50,000 can actually grow to 140,000 not bad diba? not bad at least it grew but what if you invest all your interest on top of that 50,000 kung makita niyo yung yellow line this reinvesting line your 50,000 in 30 years can actually grow to 287,000 pesos diba mas malaki siya doon sa pag kinuha mo yung interest hindi mo malang kapital this is why we have to understand the power of compounding kasi compounding can actually help make your money grow yet even double time mas magdali pa kasi you keep on adding to your investment yan now, what's the best is investment to grow your money in the long term? Of course, we believe it's stocks. History has proven that investing in the stock market can actually outperform all investment details. Now, when we say long term, ano ba yung long term? Two years ba yan? Actually, ang long term is at least five years. Pwede mo naman yan i-compare ang commitment. Ang long term commitment ba ay five months lang? Hindi, di ba? Dapat long term. So, when we talk about long term, years ang usapan. Kung 5 years niya, actually, may ikin pa yan eh. We can actually extend it to 10 years if we have time. Maybe majority of you are young here. Well, 10 years is actually long term already. Ayan. Now, let's talk about the stock market. Ano ba tong stocks na ito na nalilinig natin? Stocks or shares are actually a piece of a company. Example, isang kumpanya gusto niya um, would like to raise capital. Why? Because maybe for some reasons like they want to expand, they want to um, invest into another uh, venture. So, in this na, nung hiram siya ng pera sa bago, ang gagawin niya, that company will open a portion of its co of its um, company to the public. Yung part na yun will divide it into shares. These shares will be put into the market, the stock market, do not be yung shares. Example, if a company has 10,000 shares and we will buy 1,000 shares, we actually own 10% of that company. Diba? So once you buy shares of a company, once you buy stocks of a company, you actually become a shareholder. You become a stockholder, you become a business owner, you become a co-owner. So, ibig sabihin, kasosyo ka ng kumpanya. So, how does the stock market work? Yan. See, once you buy shares, kano ka nga ba bibili ng shares? So, before, um, stock market, traditional yan. Ngayon tatawag, nalala ko pa yan eh, yung sa mga movies, yung nagsisigawan, di ba? Magbibid, kaya ang bibid. Ngayon, stable na. Kasi thanks to technology, everything is online. Ayan. So all companies who will list them, their companies publicly, yung shares na yun, dalagay nila sa stock market. It's a palengke. A palengke wherein dun mo bibilihin ng mga shares of that company. Sa palengke na yun, that's what we call the stock market here in the Philippines, is what we call the Philippine Stock Exchange. Sa palengke na yun, dun tayo bibili. Pero hindi ka bibili directly. You have to have a broker. That broker will help you link um, yourself ready to be able to buy and sell shares of those public um, stocks or shares in that stock exchange. 
you get me? Ganon. So, para ikaw, makabili ka or makapenta ka, kailangan meron kang broker. Ganon yung stock market. And in the stock market, it's actually a place where you can um, partner with big and successful public listed companies by buying shares to participate in this group. But take note, not all companies are big, successful, and can actually grow. So how do you earn when you become a shareholder? Always remember, whatever happens to the company happens to your investment. Bakit kasi ka socio ka eh? So how do you earn? You earn in two ways. First, through dividends. Second, through price appreciation. So let's talk about price appreciation. Ano ba tong price appreciation? It's the increase in the value of a company. Meaning, lumago siya, lumami, lumaki ang value niya. Why? Because lumaki ang business. Mayroon ang profits, mayroon siya joint ventures, mayroon ang partners. Different reasons. Okay? So example, let's talk about Wilcon. Wilcon became public through an initial public offering or what we call IPO in 2017. Yung presyo niya that time was 5.05 per share. So, yan yung presyo niya nung first time niyang lumabas sa mundo. Ayan, parang first time niya maging available sa market. Currently, 2020, Wilcon is now worth 15.80 per share. I have a question. Kumita na ba tayo? Yes. Pero itong kita na to, makukuha mo yan pag binenta mo na at 15.80. Okay? Yun. So, that's how you see uh, that's how you understand price appreciation. Take note, not all companies can actually appreciate as mentioned. Ayan, kaya kailangan meron tayo pumili. Mamaya, we'll discuss it. Second, through dividends. Ano ba tong dividends? Actually, narinig natin to pag nagbe-business eh. Dividends are actually profits distributed to shareholders. Kasi dahil ikaw ay kasosyo ko, therefore, dapat meron ka rin cut sa ating profit. That's what we call dividends to make it really simple. So example, Meralco this year alone declared, wow, a total of 15.092 cash dividends lang ha. So this is cash dividends per share. If you multiply mo yan sa number of shares na meron ka sa Meralco, kung hindi ka shareholder, wala kang dividends. Pero if shareholder ka, let's say you have 1,000 shares of Meralco, multiply it to the cash dividends, you have 15 thousand pesos in cash dividends alone. Wala pa dun yung price appreciation. So, you earn both ways. Diba? Okay ba yun? So, why choose stocks? Because, as mentioned, history has proven that investing in the stock market can actually outperform all investment details. And, alam mo dito sa stocks kasi, uh, you can see this line, no? the yellow line, Ayan, the inflation rate. Kailangan natin i-compare siya sa inflation rate kasi, di ba, ang inflation rate, ang pagtaas ng presyo ng lahat, ng bilihin at ng mga servisyo. If you put your money in the pocket, say the time deposit or savings, it can only give you 2.4% and 2.3%. Kulang pa siya, yung nilago niya, kulang pa dun sa pagmahal ng mga bilihin. Therefore, abonado ka pa. If ilalagay natin ang pera natin sa savings account, you won't be able to survive. Why we won't be able to buy this, our necessities, our essentials? Bakit? Kasi kulang yung naipon natin. And just to let you know, no one can guarantee results. No one can guarantee interest. But we can only base it to historical performance and see if it can also happen in the future. And based on this 15-year annualized returns from 20. 05 to 2019, the stock market gave 10.2% increase. Diba? Meron ka ng profits. A 10.2, ibawas mo dyan yung inflation rate. Still, kumbaga, kaya mong bilhin lahat ng mga nagmamahala na at meron ka pang kita. Yan, yan, stocks. Now, kanina, diba, meron tayong slide about reinvesting example natin doon, 6% lang. Now, since we have seen that in uh, based on history, stock market can actually give a 10.2 return, let's use that in this slide. If you have 50,000 now, in 30 years, you keep on reinvesting, you invest your 50,000 and reinvesting all interest, you'll be able to make your money grow to 920,000 wow, 
pesos. Actually, almost 1 million. Kung tinaasan mo lang kung 50,000 ako, may 1 million ka na in 30 years. I have a question. At 30 years to your age, do you think you are still alive? Sa mga gusto ng mauna, sige po. Pero kung ako malalaman ko na I have this amount, 30 years from now, pipilitin kong mabuhay. ba? Kasi kailangan ko itong ma-enjoy. Para at least ako mismo, yung, yung pinaghirapan ko i-reinvest, I'll be able to enjoy 30 years from now. So you make that goal na, wow, o nga no, 1 million 30 years from now, what if I can add more, therefore I can reach it before 30 years. Diba? So that's the power of compounding. Now, what are the two ways for you to be able to buy stocks? You can actually buy um, individual stocks, the companies, or you can buy a very big, very good basket, what we call the equity index funds. Now, how do we how do we actually choose stocks? Kasi ang dami, 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 dami listed stocks. So, we uh, we will give you the criteria for judging in this budget. Again. So, kailangan tutulungan din namin kayo. Kasi hindi naman lahat okay eh. So, kailangan natin siya intindihin. Ano yung magito yung mga companies that will can actually help me in my long-term invest, uh, investing. So, first, we have to know that um, we have to see if they are in a growing industry. Lalo na in this pandemic, there are a lot of industries talagang tinamaan. So, what if that company is in a growing industry where it can still transition or pivot in, in, in this time of pandemic? Second, of course, letter E, hindi lang siya dapat nag-grow, dapat kumikita rin. Kasi pwedeng yung ibang kumpanya, hindi ko makita, malaki lang ang cost, di ba? Kailangan isipin din natin, meron siyang earnings. And of course, letter M, we have to know who's managing it. We have to make sure we are good leaders. We have to make sure that we are managing it well. And of course, letter S, superior products and services, wherein people like to, to actually buy and actually avail of, the, of those products and services. Kasi kung hindi yan gusto ng isang um, customer, hindi yan bibenta, di ba? And with CUL, we'll actually shortlist the hundreds of listed companies and these are the examples of good quality companies. So, ano nang gagawin mo? Pipili ka na lang. O, diba? So, ito, makikita mo yan. Walang takon dyan. Lahat yan talagang good quality companies. And also, let's talk about index funds. Equity index funds are actually types. It's at actually a type of mutual fund. Ano ba itong mutual fund? Sa mga nag-P2P dyan, di ba, ang P2P, lahat tayo, let's say, we'll go to Alabang. Ayan, you know, na lang, chill lang. So, all of us will enter that P2P bus. We'll pay that driver. And then that driver will drive us from one point where we all met to Alabang. That driver is a fund manager. Lahat tayo investors, sumakay tayo dun sa bus para si fund manager will actually bring us to our destination which is that uh, alabang which is our investments. So itong si fund manager, sis lahat tayo gusto natin mag-invest. Pero konti lang ang pera na pinit. Si 1,000 pesos. Gagawin ni fund manager, I amin mean, yung 1,000 mo. Ikaw 1,000, ikaw 5,000, 25. Ipunin ko yan lahat. Siya mag invest for us. At dahil meron siyang malaking fund, an advantage of this pooled fund, kaya niya bumili ng more stocks. More, um, uh, companies in a very big basket. Because if you do it yourself alone, syempre, you're limited with your budget. Tama ba? Diba? Pero in a equity index fund, ang gagawin niya, ipunin niya yan, ang bag ang bag, ang bag tayo. Tapos, will invest to good companies. And this equity index fund actually mirrors the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. Therefore, it can only be invested in the 30 large corporations, the most active most liquid, the most capitalized, and the good companies here in the Philippines. O, diba? Wala ka nang iisipin kasi it's a basket already ng mga pinakamagagandang kumpanya sa Pilipinas. So instead of you studying each one, might as well, you can consider a basket of um, funds wherein you get the chance to um, enjoy the profits of every company. O, diba? So that's the equity index fund. And based on history, ayan, this is the equity index funds that mirrors the Philippine Stock Exchange Index uh, in the long-term growth. Ayan, it's uh, based on 10-year returns from 2009 to 2019. 
ayan, yung PSEI natin, yung index natin, um, actually grew 156% from 2009 to 2019. That's the blue line, this one, no? Ayan. Pero ang equity index fund, itong nag-handle nito, itong fund na to, hinigitan pa niya, naging 169%. Bakit? Kasi number one, that's their job, to make our money grow. But number two, actually, yung dividends na nakuha ng index fund, because di ba naka-invest siya in different companies, ni reinvest ng fund manager. Therefore, syempre, mas lumaki siya na o. Oh, si PSEI, it's just balancing all the good 30, the top 30 companies. So this equity index fund, it's an investment na of a good fund manager to make it actually grow same with the PSEI index. A PSEI, ayan. Now the question, which is more suitable for me? Actually, hindi ko naman pwedeng sabihin po itong isa o kaya na itong isa. It depends per person. You can actually uh, ask yourself, do you want to pick stocks for your own portfolio? Yung gusto mo, ikaw ang mamimili na, ay, tol, gusto mong kapanya, I believe in this company. Or do you want a basket of good stocks? Ayaw mo na mag-isip, ito na lang para mabili ko na yun lahat. Or you can actually ask yourself, do you want a greater control to influence risk and reward in the short term? Kasi pag nag-invest ka directly, you'll be able to get that profits for yourself. Ito naman, equity index fund, it measures of your long-term return of the PSU. So all the profits are reinvested. Third, you can also ask yourself, do, uh, do you want to allocate your funds to any part of your portfolio? Meaning, you can actually um, pili in lahat. Kasi ito, si fund manager, si index fund, siya ang bahala. Saan niya i-invest or saan niya i-allocate ito? Huge amount sa isang company, small lang dito sa company. Ikaw, you can actually um, do that yourself when you invest in stocks. And lastly, you can actually ask yourself, gusto mo ba mag-diversify anytime? Itong industry na ito, papalitan mo na, benta mo, bili ka ulit na iba. You can do that when you invest in stocks. But in equity index funds, it's diversified already by the fund manager. Even if you have Actually, mas mahal nga ang stocks kasi you have need to have more funds to be able to buy different stocks. And equity index funds with a minimum amount na diversify na siya ng fund manager. So these are the questions you can actually ask yourself if you're confused or actually you can buy both. If you have the budget, you can do that. And these are our recommended stocks and equity index funds. Siyempre, sa dami nun, to shortlist na namin para sa inyo. Why? Because we want to make your life easier. Para at least lahat tayo, mag-Netflix na lang. Bakit? Kasi alam na natin nga ito, nakapili na tayo. And these are recommended stocks and equity funds are being studied by our research team because we believe that you have to be informed and we believe that you have to be educated for you to be able to understand ano nga ba itong pinapasukan mo. So ito, ang gagawin mo, mamimili ka na lang. Diba? Napakasimple lang. Grabe, ayahay ang buhay. Ganyan. So how should you start investing? How should I invest? There are actually three disciplines of investing. First, you have to invest in the long term. Second, invest in several good quality companies. And third, invest regularly. Let's talk about each one. First, you invest in the long term. Kailangan long term tayo mag-isip. Why? Kasi marami nangyayari sa market. Hindi na nga natin siya matansin. Hindi na nga natin alam na mangyayari ang ganitong pandemya. Di ba? Hindi natin um, matatansya anong pwedeng mangyari pa. That's why when you think about long term, you'll be able to see that actually in the long run, kumikita naman talaga lahat. Ano lang, kailangan lang, habaan lang natin yung situation. This is the Philippine Stock Exchange Index in January 1987 to December 2019. Ayan, index to ah. Wow, umabot siya ng 440 pesos. Now, the index is around 7,850. This is December ah. So, kung nandun ka sa gitna, iniklian mo lang, let's say 5 years, naku, mararamdaman mo yung pag yung movement, yung volatility. If you have 1 peso in 1987, actually, kung habaan mo siya hanggang 2019, your 1 peso can actually grow to 17.8 pesos. Wow, galing. But if you have invested 10,000, it will become 178,000 pesos. But if you invested 1 million, 17.8 million na siya ngayon. Alam ko, marami sa inyo hindi pa nabubuhay in 1987. 
don't worry. This is just a vivid example. If you're in your 20s or early 30s, So, guys, so that is a video. I hope you've learned something about that video, all about how to build your wealth in your in your business. So, how to build your wealth step by step. So, yun yung video na yun, guys. So, I hope you've learned something about that video, guys. And credit to the owner of the video, Call Financial Group. Thank you. So. Call Financial Group. It is my. It is the broker that I opened an account to. So I invested in stock by myself. Kaya yung sinabi niya kanina, DIY, do it yourself. So I did it myself because gusto ko lang na ako magmanage ng pera ko. Di ko gusto yung iba ang magmanage ng pera ko para wala akong sisisihin ganon. So kung gusto mo, you can do it yourself also. What you need to do is you. You just need to educate yourself about how to invest your money, how to build or to grow your money in a stock market investing. So I hope you've learned something about that video, guys. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So ito yung YouTube channel natin, guys. Ito. So subscribe na lang kayo kung hindi pa kayo subscribe. So, bago lang to. So, 2019, tagal na pala. So, God bless everyone and happy investing.